They were once the backbone of the Industrial Revolution. Today, Britain's heritage steam railways pull day trippers rather than steel. But there's a risk these beloved locomotives could be reaching the end of the line. So this is the last of the Welsh steam coal, what we've got here. The UK's last coal mine for steam trains suddenly closed in January and the war in Ukraine has cut off the secondary market of Russian coal. Our locos were built to run on Welsh uh, steam coal and with it no longer available we've got to look for alternative sources. If we get to a stage where the cost of coal is such that we're not running profitably then ultimately no heritage, ra no heritage railway is going to be able to operate, you see. The coal shortage is getting so bad, some railways are cutting back their timetables, with others looking abroad for fuel. With UK supplies drying up, railways are looking elsewhere. This coal was shipped in from Colombia, but bringing in fossil fuels from thousands of miles away may not be the long-term solution. There are more than 150 heritage railways in the UK, which together burn 26,000 tonnes of coal each year. Some are testing alternative man-made fuels, but it could be years before they're ready. We're a very responsible uh, uh, industry, very responsible sector. We first started work on alternative fuels three years ago, thinking there's plenty of time. It's not as simple as simply saying, oh, here's an alternative. There's a lot of chemical analysis that has, has to be done. The fuel problems come at a busy time, with steam railways a popular draw for all generations. It doesn't really matter what age you are, you know, little children like those little boys over there, older people like me, it just takes me back to when I was a child. That you can see loads of animals because usually they're on the fields. Yeah. yeah. And that's my favourite part. Is it better than driving in a car? Yes. Does it cross your mind about the sort of environmental impact of it? Or? Uh, probably increasingly, yes. Um, and there's a really difficult tension there, isn't there? Because there's a lot of heritage to this, but the environmental impact is, is really difficult, isn't it? Some heritage railways have just a month's coal left in the yard, keeping these trains on track for the year ahead could prove a difficult challenge. Dan White is Sky News in Gloucestershire.